Hey everyone, sorry about that. I had to break the film off halfway through. Um, I got a really, really super important phone call that I've been waiting for for a while. And while I was in here in the house taking that phone call, my dogs ate the top of my pie crust. <laughs> so I gotta make a top of my pie crust. It is also torrential raining now. So what I have done is started the barbecue grill. And I will be perfectly honest with you, I have never in my life used a barbecue grill. So this should be really super interesting. So anyway, let me bring you over here. And we got all of our canned goods here. And let's look for our pot pie filling. And that would be it right there. I think we're gonna need two of them. And I've got one. I've got one that's in my refrigerator. Okay. So, um, let's see here. I feel like I'm in a brain fart now. Okay, so, we've gone from outdoor cooking to heating stuff inside. So, we're going to take our chicken pot pie filling. We can get this open. There we go. And I'm going to pour that. That looks good. No, y'all can't have any. Y'all can't have none. And then to top things off on top of that, I have a mouse running around in my kitchen. Me and him are going to have some words, I can guarantee you that. Okay. So. Well, out of the way, guys. I'm using the dishwasher. No, I'm not going to get it clean. The dishwasher will do that. Thank you, dudes. Appreciate it. Muchly. Muchly, muchly. Okay, so I'm bringing this filling to a boil. Here, you guys want to lick this? There you go. Clean up after Dakota. And better you guys do it than I do it. I would really like to add some... Um, Sweet taters. Let me show you. This is the first time I've ever even attempted. But I grew me some sweet taters. And I guess I left a couple potatoes in the ground still. Because I ended up with some big ones instead of little small ones. But, you know, it's enough to munch on. So, I'm happy with my little garden. I got from my little garden. I have a little raised garden. Okay, I need to get another burner going. I should move that to the back. Turn that one high. There we go. And we need to make a top for. This hot water crust. Come on, move guys. Okay, you got it? Good. Good for you. Okay. Well, it's 
good thing I still have everything out. So we're going to say for top, we're going to use about maybe a cup of water. And I'll move you back up here. A couple tablespoons of lard. Because this doesn't have to be. These crusts are supposed to be like really super flaky. I said, never made one, don't know. So we may try this two different ways. We may try it with just a regular store-bought pastry. Okay, a little bit of ghee. Get a little butter in there. Things that, things that have fallen off my tree while I was outside. All right. Let's grab some flour. wooden stones going outside. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so got our water, lard, and butter ready to go. I have no clue what I did with my. Oh, I need to add some. Uh, gotta flavor both crusts. We're going to taste nasty. Nasty, nasty. I still can't believe these dogs did that to me. They're out to get me, I swear to God. But anyway, so my lawyer called me about my lawsuit. And because I have a dickhead for a doctor. It's kind of tying stuff up. Making it a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. So, we are not going to be putting a lot of faith into that whole situation. It is what it is, right? There ain't nothing you can do about it.
Okay, so what I'm doing right now, even though I had put the clear gel in there, I'm adding a little bit of flour. Because I took some of the um, pot pie mixture that I had in my um, refrigerator. It didn't like really have any chicken in it. It was more of the filling, maybe just a couple little pieces of the chicken in it. There we go. Let that thicken up. A little tiny bit more. And I'm going to give this a taste. Whoa, it is like really coming down hard now. So that's something else to consider, guys. Okay. So that's good. She's good. It's good. Okay. Okay, I'm really bad about not turning burners off. Okay, so I took my chicken pot pie filling that I had canned. I used two jars because um, uh, one of them was just more filling than, uh, than chicken. So that's what it looks like inside the pan. And now we are going to roll out the top crust, which is over here, and put that on top. And, oh, let me tell you another little story about the happy life of Sally. Um, you know, I'm always talking about Caz Boys, you know, my like all-time favorite place to go. Well, every time they have coffee pots, doesn't matter, you know, Mr. Coffee Coffee Makers. Come on, guys. Paw Patrol's out here in the kitchen. They're like, she's cooking. We're coming in. Um, anyway, when I go like on $8 day, which is very rare that I do, I grab a new coffee pot because coffee pots break. So I got this one here. I had to pull that when our other Mr. Coffee Coffee Pot broke. So I was like, ha, 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 I've got backup coffee maker. Well, as I just said, I have a little mouse that runs around in my kitchen. Now, I thought me and little Mr. Mouse had an agreement. As long as he stayed up on the counter where I could see him, I let him live. Well, Mr. Mouse broke the deal. Because Mr. Mouse evidently has been living in the back of my coffee maker. There's a little hole in the back there. And he broke the deal. And now my coffee maker's broken. Now, granted, I have several more out there in my garage where I keep all my stockpiles of appliances. But, I really don't want to mess with it. I really, really, truly don't. So, I don't function well in the morning without my coffee. So I realized Mm -hmm. The one thing I had not put away in my stock of coffee makers and appliances was my press. So, I don't know if you can see that. I can't see you, so I don't know if you can see that. 
So what I ended up doing is I coffee pressed myself some coffee this morning, which was loads of fun. Especially when you don't know how to use things. It really makes it fun. So, now, we're going to get this top crust here and we're going to roll it out. We are going to try to get this very thin. And I will say that rolling it inside the house is a lot easier than trying to roll it on a stepping stone outside. Because I can turn it. Like I said, I know all you bakers are out there are going, turn that dough, turn that dough. If you want a circle, turn that dough. I have never been able to get a circle. That's why I don't buy, I don't make homemade crusts because it just ain't my thing. But I do remember my mom, one of the things that she did teach me very young. And I can tell you, honestly, I couldn't make it now to save my life. Um... Each one of us kids had a responsibility, and mine was to do the cooking, which is probably why I hate it so much now, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but she taught me how to make cinnamon rolls. And I have tried to make them. I cannot make them. And I do not know why. I don't know if it's just a mental break thing or what it is, but it ain't happening. So, and the reason I'm not showing you what I'm doing right now because it looks like a clusterfuck, to be honest with you. It looks like a mess. But hopefully it'll taste good. I will show you what it looks like before I go stick it in my probably already shut off barbecue grill because of the torrential rain that we just got hit with. Mr. Tom, how you doing down there to the deep south? I'm sure you're getting hit pretty bad down there too. I love Mr. Tom. But anyway, I was trying to at least do this outside um, using what I have here for materials. So, you know, you gotta give me credit for trying at least. Now this is in a spring form pan. And hopefully it will pop out easy. Okay, so that's what my messy hot water crust pie looks like. Okay, everybody see that mess? Now, I had frozen eggs. I had taken out three frozen eggs, um, whole eggs, to do my, um, you know, put on the top of the crust there to make it brown. Guess who got it? I was like a professional chef. I had my, whatever the hell they call it, miracle. Everything was prepped. I had everything prepped. I had all my seasonings prepped. I had my pots and pans prepped. Everything was prepped, ready to go. So, 
We're just a matter of dump and go. So. The egg was outside. And when the dogs ate the top crust to the pie, they also dumped over the egg. And I guess they ate it because I don't see it out there. It's just the, the glass that I had it sitting in. But, uh... I do freeze eggs. I've been doing that for, oh my gosh, I don't even know how long. But if you want to freeze your eggs, pastry brush. Let me get my pastry brush here. Okay. I'm going to give this an egg wash. Anyway, uh, freezing your eggs, what I do is if I want whole eggs, I use ice cube trays. And if I want like omelets, I'll go ahead and I'll, um, there's still quite a bit of egg left in there. I'll throw that in with the other stuff and... Anyway, uh, scrambled eggs, I just, uh, I hit everything. I pour, put all the eggs into a blender and I know that, hold on, let me get my measuring cups here. One fourth is one egg, one large egg. Okay. Okay. Now we have put the glaze on the top here. Okay. Now we need to put a couple little slits in there because I did forget to put the hole in the center. So we're just going to go ahead and put a couple little slits in here. Okay, so basically everything is already cooked that's in here. It's just, it's really just heating up the pastry. So, um, let me first go check and see if the grill is still running before I bring my pie out here. Stay, Libby. Come on, move. Go inside. Inside, go. You have separation anxiety. Oh, okay, so we're good. Okay, we'll see how this pan's going to work out in here. Whew. I wonder if that's going to give that like a really weird s smell or something, or taste or something. But either way, we'll see. So, let's take this outside. Yep, crust tastes okay. Tastes like crust. Okay. So I'm going to sit y'all here. Okay, she's in the grill. Now, if you're cooking that in the stove, 
which <laughs> I have a feeling that's where we're going to end up going with this anyway. Uh, 350 for about an hour, 20 minutes to an hour. It really, just keep an eye on it. Um, especially if everything's pre-cooked, then it's less time. But you want that pastry to be cooked through. Oops, sorry, Libby. Didn't mean to kick your butt. Okay, that flower can go back in there. Put that away. <sighs> okay, so. Anywho. Now, there was another thing that I was going to make. Now, let me see if I can pull the recipe up. And that is, oh, there's a weather alert. Heavy rain near Alabama. Really? Thank God they just now warned me. Because I wouldn't have known what the hell to do. It's like, oh, I thought somebody was just pissing on my head. It's rain? Cool. The alerts always come in, like, after the storm's over with. Tornado sirens never go off during a tornado. It's just freaking retarded. I just don't understand the logic. Okay, so anyway, the other recipe is a chocolate cake that's steamed. And there's no eggs. It's flour, cocoa, vanilla extract, milk. I think that's it. Oh, some sugar. And then you make like a bambury in a um, pot. You know, like this pot I've got here. I've got my veggies in. And you need a cake pan that'll fit inside there. And I mean, you could help. You could even use your canner if you wanted to. Actually, that'd be a really good idea. I think I might do it that way. So, let me pull out that recipe, and we will sporadically be checking on the chicken pot pie to see how it come out, okay? And we'll be back when we're ready to pull it out. 